traffic, pollution, and a constant rush with people who are struggling to get on with their usual routines. These are the daily grind that we are constantly put through. This is Dawi. He works for a private firm which specializes in media research. Though busy, his love for adventure burns brightly in his heart. Uh, gusto ko pong makalangap ng sariwang hangin. Gusto kong uh, explore yung nature. Gusto kong maket ng bundok. Being continuously developed as an ecotourism destination, the Quezon Protected Landscape or QPL is a perfect outdoor adventure for anyone like Dawi. QPL authorities recommend the picnic area and Pasu office as the starting point for the trail which leads to the other 12 ecotourism areas. Next stop is the Yama Falls. Found to have eight waterfalls, it serves as an ideal site for trekking and sightseeing. Buena Vista spot comes next in the list, with a scenic view of the Tayabas Bay with its tiny islets. A dazzling display of colors may be seen during sunset, with each sunset being uniquely different from the previous one. Kasabay nga nito ay yung ecotourism development ng ating isang pinangangalagaang hook na matatagpuan dito sa nasasakupan ng aming senro, itong Quezon Protected Landscape. Na ito ay merong kabuoang uh, 983 hectares na nasasaklaw po nito ay ang uh, tatlong bayan sa lalawigan ng Quezon. Ang bayan ng Pagbilaw, ang bayan ng Atimonan at uh, bayan ng Padre Burgos. The view deck, which takes about a 35 minutes trek from Bena Vista, is an ideal spot. Here, layers of canopies can be viewed, being elevated at 230 meters above sea level. Using a telescope, one can have a closer look at the birds and monkeys that visit the area. An hour and a half trek leads us to the Malabayabas forest the dominant species that paint the highlands red with its distinctive bark color. It only takes a 15-minute descent to the Herbal Park Pavilion to enjoy a showcase of endemic and indigenous plant species with various medicinal and ornamental values. Across the other side of the road is the Atimonan Zigzag Park. Anyone who wished to stop by to relax from a long travel will be surprised of the amenities. As part of work, uh, work plan ng uh, DNR is develop ang nasabing pinangangalagaan po into an ecotourism destination. At uh, kasalukuyan ay ginagawa na rin yung mga pag-aaral tungkol dito katulad ng uh, Payment for environmental services, carrying capacity, uh, yung uh, ecotourism management plan, at iba pang, pang, iba pang mga pag-aaral na nakaugnay dito nga po sa ecotourism development uh, promotion. Toward the northwestern part of QPL is Cueva Santa, a 30-minute walk from the Zigzag Park. The cave is a natural geological phenomenon with clay and limestone formation that forms a natural altar. From the cave, it only takes less than 30 minutes to Pinagbanderahan Peak, a famous historical landmark where the Katipuneros raised the Philippine flag against the Spaniards. It is also the highest point in the protected area where one can view the surrounding landscape and adjacent towns. About 20 minutes walk down south is the Pinagbanderahan Cave, a site being developed for spelunking, sightseeing, research and education purposes. To 
toward the northwestern outskirts of the QPL is the Bundok Pinagpala. Townsfolk believe that the mountain is blessed and holy. About three hours from the Maharlika Highway to its peak, the High Rock Mountain is the ultimate rock climbing experience. Ay, ito po ang development ay sama-sama namin pagpaplado ng national through the DNR, ng provincial government of Quezon, ng LGU ng Atimon ng Quezon para sa ganon ay ma-develop ang mga different ecotourism sites ng ating Quezon Protected Landscape. Sige, QPL, pupunta ako dyan. 